Kathy. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to show you how to make a really super easy um, bath scrub or a shower scrub. Uh, I'm all about eating healthy, getting healthy food into your body. But the other thing is, is making sure that you're using products that don't contain a lot of chemicals because you know your skin is just going to absorb them. So there's a lot of chemical toxic stuff going around in your body. So I definitely love to make, if I can, I'll love to make some of my own uh, bath scrubs. So you can use, you can make a salt scrub, a sugar scrub, a coffee scrub. Today I'm just gonna use some, um, some sea salt, some coarse sea salt. So super easy, I'm going to measure, what you really want is some fractionated coconut oil. So that's the kind that's pure liquid. Uh, some regular coconut oil, like the one that gets hard. And then some salt or sugar. And then whichever kind of essential oils you want. Today I'm going to make a lavender peppermint. So I love the smell of lavender, it's just really calming, but peppermint also gives you that little bit of pep in the, <laughs> in the morning as well. So the easiest thing to do is um, with, the, with the hard coconut oil, I'm going to melt about a cup of it. So I'm just going to measure a cup here of the hard coconut oil. This is the one that um, goes hard, you know, at, uh, when it gets cold, it melts when it gets hot. Where fractionated coconut oil will stay liquid all the time. So I've got about a cup here of the hard, but I'm going to put it in the microwave just to melt it all down so it becomes liquid. Okay, we're just gonna do that. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave. While that's, while that's in the microwave, I'm gonna do about a cup of the fractionated coconut oil too. I'm gonna to pour that in a bowl. So we've got a cup of the fractionated coconut oil. I've already measured out a cup of salt. You want something that's fairly coarse. So um, while that's uh, melting, I'm going to just mix the salt and the oil together. All right, we're going to pour that all together. And you just want to mix that all in, mix the two oils and the salt together, really incorporating it. Next, you want to add the oils that you want. I like it, as I said, I love lavender, so I'm gonna use quite a bit. So I'm probably gonna do about 20 drops of lavender oil. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 20 of those, and then I'm gonna add maybe about 10 drops of peppermint. Again, as I said, you can use whatever oils that, that you know, that you love, smells that you love. If you want something that's scrub for, that's gonna help you sleep, you want something that's gonna wake you up, this is super easy. It's totally up to what your individual tastes are. So that I'm just gonna stir all together. Now, what you wanna do now is you want to incorporate, make sure these two oils are incorporated. You want it to get a little bit harder. So, I would let it sit for probably probably an hour, just so that the, the, the oils can get a little bit harder, kind of a more consistency of a paste. So, but in when you're doing that, maybe make sure you stir it about every 15 minutes. So the two, the fraction of coconut oil, the regular coconut oil, kind of stir to go together. And once that's done, um, so I'm going to give that about an hour, and then. What you're gonna to wanna to do, and I'll, I'll get back to you with that, is I found these little jars, which I love. I just found them at Ikea. They're really inexpensive. They come in a package of three like this. Once that's done, we're gonna to wanna to pour or scoop the oils, your mixture here, into the jars, and then just let that sit. And then just bring that into the shower with you. Super, super easy.
Okay, so it's been about an hour. Um, I did keep stirring the, the coconut oil mixture because you just don't, you want everything to incorporate really well. You can't pour, the reason you can't pour it into your jars right away and then let it set that way is because all the salt or sugar you use is gonna be, it's gonna just sink to the bottom and so it's not gonna be all mixed. So if you leave it for about an hour, you can definitely get, or even longer, it can just in, keep mixing it together. It'll really, it'll really kind of incorporate well. The one thing you can do if, you, if you're running out of time or you need to want to make it quicker is that you can just put it in the fridge. <laughs> put it in the fridge for 15 minutes, take it out, um, kind of stir it together, put it back for maybe another 10 minutes, stir it, put it back. So what you're going to end up with is this really lovely, like creamy texture. Kind of looks like powdered, like frosting really is what it looks like. But everything is mixed really well together. Now you can start putting them into jars. So again, I just use these little jars from Ikea. So... I just pour them in these jars like this. And there you have it. Just close the jar up. You ha now have homemade uh, like bath and shower scrub. 100% natural. We used what, four ingredients, regular coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, sea salt, coarse sea salt, and then I use the essential oils and use whatever essential oils you want. So that's super easy way to make um, homemade bath scrub. And this makes a really nice gift. I've done this for some friends too over Christmas time has made this as gifts. You can put like a little label on it, a little bow, whatever. <laughs> anyway, it's a great idea. Mother's Day is coming up. So maybe you can make some of these things for your, your friends and family if you're able to get up and see them. So anyway, if you have any questions, as always, just send me a note. Hope you enjoy your weekends.